Hi everybody, welcome back to Bring Life Into Us. It's Moira here. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, yeah, before I go ahead with what I've prepared for today, I firstly want to say thank you so much for uh, subscribing to my channel. Thank you for liking my videos. And thank you for your comments. They mean a lot. I really, really appreciate them. And yeah, on last week's video, I did mention that I'll take you through my propagation station as to what I'm to show you what I'm busy propagating. But I didn't do that uh, because I didn't want the video to be long. But I did promise that I'll um, I'll do a video of it. So before I forget about it, I thought let me keep my word and do a video on what I'm propagating at the moment and just take you through that. Um, yeah so that's what we're doing today <laughs> that's, i'm just i just want to keep my word and take you through that um so yeah uh, i've planted most of the things i'm propagate i've propagated um but believe me when i say there's always something sitting in water there's always something i'm propagating so <laughs> there will always be something to show you um it's not a lot but it's a few of them you know so um Let's start with this peace lily. I've got two peace lilies here. Um, um, the reason I've decided to sit them in water <laughs> is because at some point um, I overwatered them. Yeah, there's a time I overwatered it. And then I had a, an issue with uh, root rot, you know. Uh, yeah, they were doing well for a while, these two. They were doing very well for a while, and um, I overwatered it. And what happened then, the, the soil took long to dry out, and then it remained floppy. It didn't come back. Then I knew I've got a big problem in my hands. <laughs> then I took it out of the soil, cleaned it up, and yes, it was root rot. I cleaned it up and what was okay I put it in water and yeah it has been happy ever since this one is the this one has sat in water for the longest of time I just decided I don't want to transplant it I love it in water all these roots are new all of them I mean look how beautiful is that you know so um it was only these leaves this is when I put it in water, it only had two. These are old. The rest are new. You know, it only had, was it two or three? I think it's three. The rest are, the rest are, the rest are new. Yeah. It was like a few, a few leaves. Yeah. So it has grown a lot. It's very happy. And I'm not planning to put it in soil. I'm going to leave it in water. Because you can grow peace lily in water, by the way. So why bother it? It's happy. So I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to leave it in water. Even this one, you can see this one. Um, it hasn't been long. It's been, it's been maybe a month or so. Yeah, a month or so. Um, but it's doing well so far. I've got new roots. Because what I had done, what, are you, what I usually do if I get a case of root rot, I cut off everything completely because you don't want to infect your plants, the rest of your plants. So I cut everything. I cut all the roots off, what is being infected, and then I just put what, yeah, yeah, I just put the rest in water. And all that you see there, it's um, new roots that developed after a while. So it's doing very well. Even this one, I don't. I don't know I'm not gonna transplant it honestly speaking I'm not I'm gonna keep it in water it's happy uh, it, 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 it's giving me new growth I don't have issues with it so I'm gonna keep it in water so yeah those are that's peace lily you know and I'm happy with it I love it um, then I've got my golden pothos um i wanted to propagate i mean i had one trailing and um so i cut a few out just to propagate 
that I can have more. You can never have enough golden pothos. Well, that's me. <laughs> that's my thought. I, I can never have enough golden pothos. So, yeah, I just cut just to propagate. And look at those roots. How beautiful is that? Oh. So this one is definitely going to be transplanted into soil very soon. Yeah, it's going to be transplanted into soil very soon. It's very happy. It's growing. It's continuing to give me to give me new growth. I mean, this is new growth. These two leaves and there's one coming out there. If you can see, there's one coming out there. So yeah, it's exciting. And even here at the bottom, if you can see, there's new growth happening in there. Uh, this one, you can see this one, that's a new leaf. And if you go in there, there's a baby leaf in there. Oh Lord, how can I show you? But it's here, there it is. You see that? So yeah, I'm getting new growth. It's happy, it's doing very well. And um, this is my Brazil, Philodendron Brazil. It's also doing very well. Um, it's growing slowly, it's taking its time, but I'm getting new growth as you can see. Oh, that is new growth. I mean, that's new growth. You see that? Uh huh. And even there, that's new growth. It's doing very well, it's developed roots, and yeah. And then, what am I missing? And then we've got this uh, arrowhead plant. It was only this when I put it in water. It was only this leaf. And look, I've gotten, this one is new. It's a new growth. And I'm getting another one there. And there's another one there, baby. Oh, how cool is that? And if you look inside, if you look closely, I'm gonna try not to get wet, you know. You always get wet when you when everything with to do with propagation you must just be ready to get wet because then it's all water everywhere but anyway i'm gonna take it out just to show you i've got a towel on my lap so um if you look in there there's new growth happening i'm gonna try to bring it closer ah there can you see that So yeah, it's very exciting. So that's my arrowhead plant. Yeah. So it has grown a lot. Um, it's doing very well. Soon I'm transplanting this one also into soil. And then I've got my Anthurium. It's doing very well also. Look at that. Look at, look at this growth. Look at this growth. All of that is leaves. Look at that. How beautiful is that? And the roots, look at those beautiful roots, you know? So yeah, and I started off with only these two leaves, by the way, and the rest is new growth. And the same thing with my anthurium. Soon I'm gonna be transplanting it into soil. And then I'm gonna bring this beautiful propagation station of mine. <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. I love it. I love this stand. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And all thanks to uh, Mama's Plants, Cape Town, uh, Brittany. She makes these. And um, yeah, I'll put her details below if you want to order yourself one. Believe me, you won't regret it. I love these test tubes, uh, propagation station. It's it's a beautiful way to, to, to display your cuttings and yeah, why not go stylish, right? And different. <laughs> so yeah, so what do I have in here? I have, this is, um, this is golden pothos. It has lost its variegation as you can see. Yeah, but it's okay. I love green still. <laughs> Don't have a problem with green. But it's doing very well. Look at those roots. Soon I'll also be transplanting it into soil. I'm very excited about it. And then another Brazil 
philodendron is doing very well also giving me new growth as you can see i don't know if you can see oh, let's try this let's try this don't want to break it and look at those roots yeah. then my zizi i broke this plant when i was uh plant uh, yeah reporting it when i bought it the day it came home i broke these two accidentally and then i put it in water <laughs> look at that look at that look at that look at that look 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 at those roots so soon i'm transplanting it too you know it's doing very well it's happy and here's another baba which broke off my philodendron has has to turn silver it's doing very well the roots are beginning to come out um so yeah it's doing very well here's another piece of it here's another piece of it look at those roots that's a root there it's doing very well so yeah so that's what i have uh propagating at the moment like i said it's not quite a lot now this one i i just did it this morning this is my philodendron imperial green it's not doing well is it has it has been struggling from the day it arrived to climatize to my house so even the new growth i was excited about if you checked out my philodendron collection somehow it looks like that i mean there's nothing there's no life in it as you can see look so i decided this morning to take it out of the soil clean it up and then just put this whatever is left of it in water and see if i can get anything out of this but i'm still gonna buy myself one of these i'm not giving up i'm definitely not giving up if i find one again i'll definitely buy it so yeah so that's what i have going on um propagation wise so i'm what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna change water now that's what you do with your propagation and believe me it's not something i do regularly <laughs> i'll be i need to be very honest it's not something i do regularly but i do it as for as um uh, I do try to do it um, as often as I can, you know, but I won't say it's something I do like, you know, that's all you do, you just change water and you add clean water. And sometimes what I do is when I don't have time to change water I, and uh, you can see the water level has gone down, like it has really gone down. All I do is top it up when I don't have time. And I'm being very honest with you. I just top it up. But today, because I've got time, I'm going to do that and refill. Right, because I've got time. Just give them nice, fresh, clean water. This one is fresh because I just did it this morning so yeah so what do you have propagating at the moment um, please share um, or what is your favorite plant to propagate um, or do you even like propagating <laughs> I love propagating I know I love it you know, maybe you're not like me Maybe you feel, oh, that's just too much work. <laughs> it's okay, I understand. <laughs> you know, but I love it. I love propagating. And, um, yeah, it's a joy to, to take a cutting of a plant. Um, and it's just clean. There's no roots, there's nothing. And you put it in water. And you watch it develop roots you watch it grow and you just know that this is me I did that I I had something to do with it <laughs> yeah. it's such a joy 
it's such a joy to know that that plant, I did it myself, I propagated it, and I looked after it and until it grew, until it was ready to be transplanted. And today it's a big plant. And um, yeah, actually next time I actually should do a video on plants I have, which I didn't go to the shop and buy, but they are now full grown plants and I propagated them. I should do that, I should do that. Yeah. I'm sure it will encourage someone out there that they don't remain this small, they do grow into mature plants. They do, they do grow into mature plants. So maybe it will encourage someone out there to, prop to start propagating. Yeah. I mean like this one, this should encourage you because honestly, this, is, this was not this when I started. So yeah, <coughs> the other one is finished. So yeah, I love it. So um, so yeah, it's such a joy. I think I've changed. I just need to do my chips. I've changed this one, did I change you? I did, hey. I think I did. Just need to do my tubes. Now with my tubes, I need something smaller. Okay, just need to fill up my chips and I'm done. So yeah, and the joy about uh, them in water is that it's not a lot of work. <laughs> they don't require as much care as the ones in soil, to be honest. Like I say, I don't do this all the time. Like, um, yeah, I don't change my water like every week. <laughs> I don't. But um, sometimes, depending, you know, when I've got time, I change it. When I don't have time, I just top it up. But I try to change it regularly. Well, as often as I can, I try as often as I can. But it's not something I will say I do weekly. No. I don't, and I'm being honest with you, I don't change my water weekly. So yeah, and they are doing just fine. They are growing well, you know. They're sitting in my kitchen, uh, on my windowsill, and they're loving it there. So yeah. It's important to wipe your test tube. Um, you don't want your wood to come in contact with water. So it's very important to wipe your test tube. Otherwise, it won't be good for your wood. <laughs> you know. Um, so yeah, I've done that. Yay, I've changed all the water. Everything is sitting in nice, fresh water. Now I'm going to take them back where they stay. But thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you find this interesting. I hope you like this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. And um, yeah, please let me know what you're busy propagating or what is your favorite plant to, to propagate. As for me, I love propagating any plant that can be propagated. I, don't, I can't say I've got... Yeah, I yeah and though maybe let me say the one i propagate the most to be very honest with you is my golden pothos <laughs> it's my golden pothos is the one i propagate the most because i think uh it grows faster than it grows fast and yeah i don't know yeah 
and I love golden pot potos, so yeah, it's the one I propagate the most. But anyway, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, bye.